Hello everyone, welcome back. Today is the third and final part of Galadriel, a model that got selected by you, the community, for the one year anniversary of the channel. Once again, I want to thank Anita for the awesome new logo she made for the channel. Her social links are in the description. Without further ado, let's get to painting! We will start things off from the hair, which will be based entirely with Zandri dust. The same color will be used for the eyebrows. Afterwards, we will create a mid-tone by mixing Zandri dust with a Shapti bone in a 1 to 1 ratio. With said mid-tone, we will start highlighting the hair on all raised areas. Follow this up with details of pure Shapti bone. Do be careful not to paint the recesses, although some mistakes on this point are okay. In order to blend the colors together, we will use Seraphim Sepia diluted with Lamian Medium. Use the same amount of both solutions for the mix and cover the hair entirely. We shall return to Shapti Bone and pass again over some of the details we added earlier. At this stage, avoid painting in the recesses at all costs or you will have to start from the beginning. Subsequently, we will mix one part of Pallid Witch Flesh and one part of Ushapti Bone and add a second highlight on the most raised areas of the hair. After that, we will use a pure Pallid Witch Flesh and add details over all highlights. Finally, we will use once again Seraphim Sepia, either mix with Glaze Medium or make a glaze of it on your own. Go through the entire hair once more. A tutorial with similar hair recipe can be found on the card on your screen. Now we will take a bit of Runefang steel and with utmost care we will paint the headdress. If you paint over the hair at this point, check if you can salvage it by doing highlights over the mistake. Next is the face, which we will start immediately with Kidian flesh tone over white primer. If you don't have primed the piece white, then go with a layer of grey sear first. Using Corex White, we will paint the eyes clearers. Taking advantage of Vallejo's grey blue, we will add the base for the irises. A nice substitute for the color is the Fang from Citadel. We shall use Fenrisian Grey to highlight the eyes. Afterwards, with Abaddon Black we have to paint the eyelashes. As it is a very small area, mistakes can happen. If any mistakes do happen here, they need to be fixed ASAP. Moving away from the eyes, we will mix 1 to 1 Kisla Flesh and Cadian Flesh Tone. With the mix, we will start highlighting the face. The main targets are the cheekbones and a bit of the jaw. Penultimate step for the face is to add details on the highlight we just did. We can do this with pure Kisla flesh. Finally, we will mix Kidian Flesh Tone and Bugman's Glow in a 1 to 1 ratio and paint Galadriel's lips. With this step finished, the model is done. The results should look like this. If you found this video helpful or inspirational, please leave a thumbs up or a comment. All colors used on this video are on your screen now. I was Miniature Ursus, thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one. Unless of course you want to check this video out.